Hey, this is Coach Bill. Welcome back. Thought it would be uh, pretty helpful if we could do a little mini case study. So what I've done here is I've uh, pulled up some clips here of Jack Flaherty. Uh, the clips are courtesy of Major League Baseball TV, and I want to thank them for their work as I'm using their clips to help us get a point across. What I wanted to do was to take a look over at uh, the last couple of videos uh, where we've talked about how to use the back legs. And what I wanted to do was to be able to show how Mr. Flaherty is, is going about doing this. So when we take a look at this, what we want to do, we're going to take a look to see, you know, is he uh, utilizing a stable back foot? Does he activate the glute right through here? Okay, is he eventually going to end up getting a stabilized front foot when he lands? Does this back foot stay rooted into the ground uh, for as long as he can? Uh, do we see him lead with the back hip towards home plate, making that, that slight little counter move? Um, are we going to find separation off the top uh, once he does start to come back forward, you know, as he starts to, to deliver the pitch? So those are things we're going to look at. You know, does he ride the slide as he moves down the mound? So all of those things we want to take a look at to see how uh, how he's doing here. So now if I can control the the controller here, we'll get going. So here's Jack as he gets into his windup. I can see a little bit of space right here. The heel lifts up a little bit, but I think he does a wonderful job of driving right down through that ankle. We see uh, that back foot is staying solidly into that ground. We don't see the toes flip a little bit. Again, that back side's up a little bit. So he's, you know, might be a little bit forward uh, to the ball of his foot, but all in all, this is pretty good. Uh, also, now we start to see he's he's uh, starting to get into the glute right here, and we'll see him drop a little bit as he uh, starts his ride down the mound. He and he is starting this ride down the mound. I thought he does a real nice job, and we'll see a, on a, another pitch or two. He does a real good job of staying. Uh, closed with that front knee and here we can see he's got a real solid front foot all right nothing's moving on it he's able to to post strong uh, it'd be nice to see some video from the back side so you know again it's important that that when you're taking video at home it's not so much like these stop uh, photos here that, that we're creating the stop action these freeze frames as it is the the motion that happens between those freeze frames and what happens when you know by being able to look at different angles and I don't have any other different uh, angles of of Jack here uh, but when we're looking at them we're able to see some some different items and and unfortunately we're not going to be able to see him ride the mound as as well as he is but so when you're at home you you might want to take a shot from directly from behind one from in front one from directly beside him which would be you know on the on the sides of the mound so one looking this way you've got one looking this way you know you're on a knee you're looking back in when you take the video and obviously you're looking back in this way so those are you know when you're taking your videos you know just of a pitch don't have to put down like a lot of time on them so you know four seconds would probably have gotten everything done uh, on every pitch so, so you don't have to put a whole bunch into that but you know keep in mind when you're doing that, make sure you're looking at that so you're making sure you're covering all your angles here. So let's look at the next pitch here. And here you can see Jack's at the top here. Here's that, that slight coil or the load, whatever you want to call it, with this knee right here. Uh, you can see he's starting to sit down. There is the sit. There's the break. Okay, here we can see the separation off that top half. We see the Cardinal logo that way uh, as he's starting to move to the plate he's doing a real good job of staying in you know what we're looking for both feet when they hit we would want uh, both feet on the ground when that front foot hits we want both feet on the ground let me clear that so you can see the uh, see the separation here and we'll go one more pitch so we're taking a look at it boom okay Good looking job here. You can see he's just up a little bit because we saw that heel have that have that slight 
uh, disengagement with the ground at the very beginning, but we're starting to to see this. You know, he's he's close to being on the ground, but uh, you know, I think he's he he does a, a masterful job of it. Um, so those are the items that we're looking for. So you know, we want to make sure that we've got that back foot stable. He stayed over uh, over the knee. Uh, he sat into that back leg. He activated that glute. He really was uh, focused on turning through the middle. Uh, he sat through his delivery. Uh, and again, he hit with a strong front side. So, you know, this is just our little mini case study of uh, Jack Flaherty. Again, we're just going uh, over this, sort of encapsulating the last three videos, um, just tr trying to wrap it up in a, in a quick overview. So to help you along the way. But anyhow, there we go. Uh, that's Jack Flaherty. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow.